Hello everyone and welcome back to It's Tech Time. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a quick overview of GNOME Web. GNOME Web is a web browser that is available to Linux users and it's a very simple web browser. You can think of it in relation to Safari and Macs. So Web GNOME is kind of the Safari of Linux, if you would. Now there's not a whole lot to GNOME Web, but if you want just a simple web browser for viewing websites, or maybe if you're working and you want to minimize distractions, so you need a minimum web browser, GNOME Web may be the web browser for you. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to download it, and I'm going to go through some of the settings and features of it, and give you enough information where you should be comfortable on your own to go out there and install it yourself, and to play around with it for a little bit to see if it's the web browser for you. Now GNOME Web is a browser that will appeal to some people more than others. The thing is it has a more limited feature set if you were to compare it to another browser, like Brave for example. So if you're more used to a browser that you can go into a lot of settings and customize and almost completely customize to your use case, you may not like GNOME Web. On the other hand, if you prefer to keep things simple, then you will absolutely love GNOME Web because GNOME Web is extremely simplistic. It focuses on browsing and, and not very much else. And it is probably for this reason that most Linux distributions will default to Firefox as opposed to GNOME Web. But regardless, even if you're not sure if you're gonna like GNOME Web or not, you might as well check it out and see what it looks like because you can always go back and uninstall it later if you're not gonna use it. But even if you don't use it very often, it may not hurt to keep it as a secondary browser because of how, because of how lightweight it is to test something out. So next, let's look at how to actually install GNOME Web. Probably the easiest way to install GNOME Web is to go to your Linux version's app repository store, search for GNOME Web, and then Ubuntu desktop will go to the latest stable version, and then you can simply click install. If you're using Fedora, you can go to the app store and search for GNOME Web. And then in GNOME, you have a drop-down box where you can choose between the Flatpak version, the RPM version, or the Flathub version. For me, the Flathub version that comes by default for Fedora would be fine, so then I'm just going to click Install. So now that it's been installed, we can simply click Open. And as soon as it opens, it's going to ask if you want to set it as a default browser or not. I'll leave that up to you. You, you can set it as a default browser now. You can click No, or you can click Ask Again Later. I'm going to, I am going to select Ask Again Later. And then let me enlarge this a little bit. And then like any other web browser, you can type in the website you want to go to, and it will pull it up. And then if you want to open another tab, just click this icon over here, and then go to the second website you want to go to. So now you have two tabs that you can go back and forth to by either clicking, or one cool feature of GNOME Web is that if you want to go through, if you have multiple tabs open and you're trying to find something, you can go to your view open tabs menu icon over here, click on that, or it gives you a preview of all the tabs you have open, which can be easier to search through multiple tabs if you have multiple tabs open. You can also from this page create a new tab, but I'm just going to hit the exit key to exit from this view here. So we got two different ways of going between tabs. Another feature of GNOME Web, just like any other browser, you can do you can bookmark your favorite pages. And I'm going to go to my bookmarks menu here. Right now nothing is here because I just downloaded GNOME Web. If I want to bookmark this page, I'll click on this icon here to bookmark page. And then if you wanted to make this something a little bit shorter for you to read. And then close that. And now if I go to my bookmarks menu, I'll see the page I just bookmarked right here and I can click on it and go to it. Another really cool feature of GNOME Web is that it supports web apps. So what you want to do is you want to go to the page that you want to make into a web app. And then we're going to click on this hamburger icon here, which pulls up the main menu. And we're going to go to web apps. And then we're going to click on install it as a web app. So you want to make sure you're on the tab that you want to make a web app out of. So we're going to click install as web app. And then here you want to give it a name and I'm going to call it ITST for its tech time YouTube. And I'm going to click create. So now if I go to the activities overview, and I click on show apps. There's the app that I just created. And I can click on it. And it opens it up as a web app. And just like any web app, I can pin this to the dash. And now I can have its Tech Time YouTube channel or any app you can think of pinned to my dash as a web app. It could be something like Proxmox or Nextcloud 
or anything you can think of that you would access on a regular basis. You may even want to do your Gmail access as a web app, so you can just click it and access it just like any other web app. And with this being a web app, it, it treats it like an application just like it would anything else. You'll see here that with the web app, you have a little bit limited interface. You don't have the ability to create multiple tabs or create bookmarks. You just basically have the web app for the page itself. And you have a few less settings than web and no web browser itself. But it's a pretty cool feature if you have something you access on a really regular basis and it may be quicker for you to just access it as a web app. So I'm going to close this and go back to GNOME Web and enlarge that. Now what you can also do here is go back to the menu, go back to web apps, and you can manage all the different web apps you have. Now I just have the one, but if you had multiple ones you can go through and if you find you're not using it anymore you can delete it. And it will remove it from your web apps for you. And you'll see a list of web apps as you create them here. And again, you get to this by going to the menu, web apps, and manage web apps. If I go back to its tech time website and create another one, we're going to go to web apps, install its web apps, that's tech time, click create, and then go back in here to web apps, manage web apps, and you'll see the one that I just created here. And you can see that it was installed on today's date that it was created. And back here in all apps, you'll see my website icon right here. So that's pretty cool in my opinion. Now some options I want to show you, we're going to go here to menu and we're going to go down to preferences. Now here you have the home page settings. Your home page can open up the most visited pages. You can have your home page be a blank page, or you can have your home page be a custom web address that you visit on a regular basis. So you can set that to whatever you want. I personally like to have a custom start page, so I'm going to set it to, this, to the It's Tech Time website. And below that, we can choose our search engine. It defaults to DuckDuckGo, which is good for privacy, but you also have Bing or Google that you can go to. And you can also add one for like example if you're a fan of start page you can add start pages web address here and add it as a search engine into gnome web as well for now i'm going to switch mine to dot go and leave it for there and below that you can set it to start in incognito mode if you wanted to uh, i'm going to leave that off by default but i'm going to show you what that looks like real quick so if we go back up here to the menu we're going to click on new incognito window and I'm just going to click no, move that out of the way. And just like any web browser, when you open up incognito, you're met by a private browsing message. Inside of GNOME Web, you're going to see the little eye icon with a line through it, indicating that this is a private browser. And this is really useful if you're trying to test out a website and you don't want information to get stored in cookies, uh, just for one-time use testing on a web page. But I'm going to close this for now. I just wanted to show you what it looked like. And we're going to go back to the menu and back to preferences and restore tabs on startup is enabled by default which is a really handy feature i like what that means is if i was to close this browser right now if all these tabs currently open and then was to go back to my apps and open gnome web it would open right back up to all the tabs that were open previously and now we'll go back to preferences because I got a few more things I want to show you. And on our browsing, there's some settings for mouse gestures. I don't have a touchpad on this machine to show you what those look like, but if you're on a laptop or something with a touchpad, you can play around with those. Below that is a setting for switched immediately to new tabs. That's a cool feature that I personally like to enable. I'm going to enable that and then close this. And then if I go back to my website, it's going to go straight to the new tab link, which is pretty neat and that's pretty self-explanatory. So let's go back to the preferences and go over some more options. You can go to appearance, and here you can use a custom font. You can change the font around if you want to. You can change the font style if you want to. If you notice that it doesn't have a light or dark mode inside the appearance settings itself, that is because that that's going to be controlled by the operating system underneath. For example, I by default use dark mode in Fedora, so it's going to default to dark mode. If I was to go to my main menu here and turn dark style off, as you can see, that instantly changed everything, including the known well browser. But I personally don't like light mode, <laughs> so I'm going to turn dark style back on. And so that's pretty much all there is to known well. It's, it's a very simple user interface web browser. If you need, want something clean and efficient like that, you can refresh interface. You can set a home tab. You can open multiple tabs and switch between them.
and there's different ways to switch between the tabs you have open. You can create bookmarks, and you can go through the bookmarks menu to see your different bookmarks. You can create web apps from some of your most visited websites if you want to, which is a really cool feature. And it's a very simple web browser, and, and sometimes that's all you need. And so it never hurts to have something basic like this on hand for quickly testing out something. Maybe you're having trouble accessing a website and you're worried it's something that you have stuck in your cookies. You can open this up and see if you can get to it easier or not. I personally like having something there just in case my primary browser is having trouble with a website. It's a great test to see if it's my browser or something I got set in there or if it's the website itself. Anyway, Gnome Web is a really cool web browser and it's there for you to check out. And there you go. We just checked out Gnome Web. Is a very simple web browser which sometimes may be all you need and it's really useful to keep something like that on hand so if you got anything out of this video please hit the like button down below and hit the subscribe button so that you're notified the next time i let out another video i really appreciate everybody making it out here to the end of this video and i'll see you next time